Gloria in excelsis Deo. The light of the blessed candle thins the darkness around the tomb. The ringing of the bells and the singing of the Gloria announce Easter from Jerusalem. It is the only place in the world where the Easter Vigil, the mother of all vigils, is celebrated on the morning of Holy Saturday, as it was in ancient times. It is the first place in the world where Easter is celebrated. It is from here, from the empty tomb, that for over 2,000 years the proclamation of the resurrection has reached the whole world. The liturgy is highly symbolic. The fire is blessed in front of the anointing stone, in front of the shrine of the Anastasis, the paschal candle is lit with a flame taken from the sepulchre. The light of Christ from the candle spreads from one person to another, the sign of the new life in Christ that enables us to live as children of light. The proclamation of the seven readings alternating with the Psalms renews for the faithful the story of salvation. The bells ring out in celebration to the singing of the Gloria, announcing to the world the resurrection. Finally, the blessing of the water with a renewal of baptismal promises. The celebration was presided over by his beatitude, Pier Battista Pizzaballa, Patriarch of Jerusalem of the Latins, who in his homily spoke of the courage of the women who announced the resurrection according to the Gospel of Luke. Christ is the hope of those who seek him with faith and courage. He is the hope of those who do not remain locked in their own security, but venture out to find him in this troubled world. This is the road that the church is called to take. From Jerusalem in front of the empty tomb, the announcement of the resurrection is renewed. This is the true joy of Easter. The God of the Lord Jesus Christ is alive. He will not let death prevail. Like the woman at the tomb, every Christian today carries with him the renewed certainty that Christ is risen and the mandate to proclaim with his life that he is alive among us.